Rome didn't fall in a day. It crumbled under its own weight of corruption, endless wars, cultural rot, and economic collapse. Sound familiar? We are witnessing the same decline in real time. The only difference is today, we have Wi-Fi. America is the new Roman Empire, and it will not get a chance to rebuild. Rome, the once great empire that spanned continents and shaped civilization for centuries. It seemed invincible, yet despite its military might, economic power, and cultural influence, it succumbed to decay from within. It wasn't a single battle or an enemy that brought it down. It was a complex web of internal failures. Today, America stands at the crossroads of a similar fate. This isn't exaggeration or alarmist propaganda. The parallels between the final days of Rome and the current trajectory of the United States are striking and undeniable. Political corruption, endless military engagements, a fragmented culture, and economic instability have all brought us to the brink. Rome's decline began at the very top, its leadership. What started as a republic, driven by civic duty, eventually devolved into a system where power was concentrated in the hands of a few and corruption became the norm. Emperors rose and fell at the whims of assassins and conspirators, with each new ruler promising reform and delivering more chaos instead. Sound familiar? Look at our own political landscape. Washington has become a battlefield of special interests, backroom deals, and outright corruption. Lobbyists control the purse strings of our politicians, and scandals emerge so frequently that they barely make news anymore. They are all drowned out by the next cycle of outrage. In Rome, this political instability led to a government that could no longer function for the good of its own people. In America, the dysfunction is clear. Partisan gridlock, endless investigations, and the erosion of public trust in our institutions. When leadership becomes a contest for personal gain, the nation itself suffers. The Roman Empire was built on military conquest, but in a way, it was also undone by it. Rome's expansion stretched its resources thin, constantly fighting wars on multiple fronts, draining its economy and weakening its armies. The final blow came when it could no longer defend itself from external threats or maintain the infrastructure needed to keep its vast territories connected. America, too, has been embroiled in endless wars. Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and countless other engagements and proxy wars. We spend trillions on military operations, yet what do we gain in return? More instability, more enemies, and a nation divided over the very necessity of these wars and conflicts. Make no mistake, we have the most powerful military in history, but like Rome, we may be fighting wars that are ultimately fruitless and pointless to our future endeavors as a nation. The cost isn't just monetary, it is social. A nation that spends more on war than on its own people is a nation doomed to fall apart from within. Rome's cultural decay was as significant as its political and military failures. The empire became a shell of its former self. Its citizens grew apathetic, distracted by spectacles and excess, losing the civic pride and duty that once held the empire together. America today is experiencing its own cultural fragmentations. We no longer share the same values or vision of the future. Social media fuels division, rewarding sensationalism over substance. Reality has been replaced by a spectacle where the loudest voices drown out the reason debate, and identity politics supersedes unity. Rome's citizens turned away from their responsibilities as the empire fell, distracted by bread and circuses. Today, we are distracted by outrage and entertainment, all while our core values and civic duties erode before our eyes. Rome's economy was once the envy of the world, both prior and centuries after its existence. But over time, it crumbled under mismanagement. Inflation soared. The gap between the rich and the poor widened, and eventually, the empire could no longer sustain itself. The reliance on slave labor and excessive spending on military campaigns and public spectacles drained the empire's resources. Now, consider America. Our national debt is over $30 trillion. Inflation is hitting working families, and the middle class is shrinking like never before. Wealth inequality is at an all-time high, and corporate interests drive policy more than the well-being of our citizens. Just like Rome, we are overspending under-investing in our future and relying on unsustainable systems to keep us afloat. Rome didn't recognize the rot until it was too late. We will make the same 
mistake if we do not adjust course. Rome's fall was a slow, painful process marked by a refusal to adapt or confront its internal issues. By the time the Roman people realized the empire was collapsing, it was too late to save it. The same fate could await America if the people do not accept responsibility of their civic duties and assert their own political power to steer the course of this nation. Today in America, we face the same internal failures that brought down the world's greatest empire, corruption, endless war wars, cultural decline, and economic instability. The only difference is at this time, we may not have a chance to save it. The question isn't whether America is the new Rome. The question is whether we'll learn from history before it's too late. Rome's decline wasn't just about money, wars, or politics. It was also about moral and philosophical collapse of its leadership and people as a whole. The virtues that had once defined Rome, courage, honor, duty, all of those were replaced by greed, cowardice, and self-interest. Where are America's virtues today? We once prided ourselves on being a land of opportunity, a shining city on a hill. But what do we stand for now? In the endless pursuit of wealth, fame, and power, have we lost our moral center? Leaders who lie and cheat their way into power, a culture that rewards greed and excess. This is the decay of a society that no longer values the things that once made it great. But unlike Rome, we have the luxury of history as our guide. We know what led to their fall. The question is, will we act or will we ignore the warnings and allow ourselves to crumble? The fall of an empire isn't inevitable, but if we refuse to change, it might as well be. I've been Drex Hawkins. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one, my friends.